what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel for another destiny 2 lore video don't forget to click that like button subscribe to the channel and make that bell ring so that you can receive notifications every time i upload a new video so last week we discussed the armor pieces that described an event that happened between the three three team uh three fire team members uh, while in the black garden on an expedition they heard a whisper or they heard voices of some sort uh, after releasing their ghosts to do scans of the area and of themselves. Um, now, after they're, they're releasing the ghosts, the ghosts fell to the ground as if the light was sucked out of them. Uh, now you have three fire team members that are one without their ghosts, so they can't respawn themselves. Uh, and then two, they're just like Eris Morn with no ghosts. So yes they have these other abilities they have these powers so it's definitely interesting to say that eris morn was not the first uh or the last guardian to be without a ghost um the lord tab from the temptations bond described as if the three guardians were fighting against each other which was lisbon 13 rakana and then yardam Four, um, they were fighting against Lisbon 13 for either a disagreement or something that happened between them three that we will discuss today in this video. All right, so here we have the Temptations Mark, the Titans class item. Um, and here, in this particular Lord Tab, we find out that Lisbon 13, from the relationship between him and Rakana, Lisbon 13 felt betrayed and that the fire team, they were no longer friends. So therefore, that's when they started to have this, what they say, showdown, but battle. Um, Lisbon 13 goes in fear and unfortunately, he had the high ground in this fight. So I'm kind of confused on how he lost this fight um also um once again in this lore tab a deal uh quote unquote the deal is brought up here again but there is really no explanation of what it consists of or what it's what was exchanged like okay i do this for this none of that was explained in this lore tab um and unfortunately that's about it with this titan's mark uh really didn't explain much but as we progress we are going to go into the hunter's cloak the cloak of temptation all right so now we have the hunter's cloak cloak of temptation so in this lore tab you will see that uh once again it goes into a description of when Lisbon 13 felt like he was betrayed or he was misled upon this mission to the Black Garden. Uh, he felt that Rakana actually knew what was going on and wasn't telling him or Yardam for the full potential of the mission. Like, what was the real reason why they were there? Um, it also describes the fight scene of, between himself, Yardam 4, and Rakana. Uh, let's say the easiest way to describe the fight from what without reading everything is basically playing crimson days doubles your partner distracting one of the other members on the team and rakana in this case will go in for the flank and then take away the enemy so take him out so that's basically how it's described in the fight now as Rakana is closing in on Lisbon 13. They also bring up the Divinity. Uh, Divinity is an exotic trace rifle in the game now that you can only get through completing puzzles within the Garden of Salvation Ring. Um, I myself have it. It was very long to get. But with that being said, uh, in the lore tab of Divinity, it does state that uh, Rakana felt that Lisbon 13 was the only person to be trusted with this particular gun. Um, 
So she also knew that the divinity was something of not of evil, but not of dark, neither of light, but it was something that was, you can say, destined for her to wield. Uh, so it also states in this lore tab that it that Lisbon 13 accepted an offer of some sort uh, via this voice. Now we all should know that this voice is aka the darkness. Uh, now what was accepted, what was offered, we don't know. And that's what I don't like about this is that they leave this open entirely like there's no confirmation if Lisbon 13 is dead there's nothing confirming that Rakana and Yara 4 actually got through the gate to go warn the Vanguard there's nothing in the lore nothing else that shows them leaving so that's why with this particular lore i'm very not disappointed but very eager to know what happened so in closing uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this this lore reading this lore interpretation uh go ahead and check out that last video i did on the warlock armor it was a little bit more in depth i guess you can say um the we really don't know what happened to this fire team we just know that they're no longer around we want i would want to know what happened and the only way to do that is if destiny the dev team they release information more information on this fire team uh, i do believe that rakana knew more than what she told the fire team uh, I do believe that she went there with a purpose. I believe that she went there knowing that the darkness was there. Uh, so, with that being said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. And this is Christmas Gaming signing out.